What do they hide from us? Is there a real threat from space? What do the asteroid craters of the planet say? What global catastrophes await the planet? What awaits us in the future? Will there be an end of the world and an apocalypse? What is the main sign of the second coming of Christ? Jesus said that just before his return, there would be great signs from heaven. The Bible repeatedly says about the collapse of stars on the planet. But what are these stars? The word asteroid means like a star. Our planet keeps scars and traces of the collapse of cosmic bodies. At the moment, the number of reliably identified large impact craters of the Earth has exceeded 200, and from 2 to 5 new formations are detected annually. A large impact crater, more than 2 kilometers in diameter, is called an astroblem, from the Greek star plus wound, that is, star wound. Also, many wounds or holes are located underwater, at the bottom of the seas, oceans, and other water bodies. The sizes of meteorite craters are various and fluctuate from 10 to 30 meters to 300 kilometers. Impact craters are not to be confused with similar landforms such as calderas. These wounds are special, they are formed as a result of a shock explosive impact event during the collision of large asteroids with the Earth's surface. Upon impact, pressure and temperature reach tens of gigapascals and 2,000 to 3,000 degrees Celsius, resulting in the formation of cosmogenic rocks. For example, in the region of Sodom and Gomorrah, in the molten layer left after the catastrophe, there is platinum, nickel, iridium, metals that are very few in the surface layers of the Earth, but quite a lot in the asteroids of the solar system. By the way, it is iridium that tells us how hot the planet's doomsday sites were. In the place of Sodom, this metal was melted and then solidified. Its melting point is plus 2,466 degrees Celsius. Space researches has shown that impact craters are the most common geological features in the solar system. And this confirmed the fact that the Earth is subject to periodic asteroid bombardment. Where do these asteroids come from? There is a region in the solar system located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, it is called the asteroid belt. This is a place of accumulation of many asteroids or minor planets. The largest asteroid in the solar system is Ceres, which received the status of a dwarf planet and has a diameter of 940 kilometers. It is named after the goddess of fertility. The next largest asteroid is Vesta, which has a diameter of approximately 500 kilometers and is named after the goddess of the home. This asteroid hosts the largest impact crater in the solar system, Rhea Silvia. The crater has a diameter of about 500 kilometers and is almost equal to the average diameter of Vesta itself. Most likely it was formed as a result of an asteroid impact during the so-called late heavy bombardment, when many craters were formed on the Moon, Earth, Mercury, Venus and Mars. The next massive asteroids are Pallas, it is named after the goddess of war and has a diameter of about 500 kilometers, and Hygieia, the goddess of medicine and health, with a diameter of about 430 kilometers. It is assumed that in the solar system there may be up to about 2 million objects with dimensions of more than 1 kilometer. By tradition, all minor planets are called the names of Greek, Roman, and Egyptian gods. And everyone knows that all the gods that are actually not, and all the idols one day fall. Today, all analysts, politicians, scientists, journalists are wondering, what will happen to our fragile planet, and what awaits us in the near future. Everyone understands that if the Earth keeps terrible wounds from the impacts of cosmic bodies, then sooner or later this will happen again. Therefore, doomsday vaults, arcs of salvation, life stations underwater and in space, as well as bunkers and underground shelters are being built all over the planet. Also, once a year, the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Center for Near-Earth Object Research and the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs conduct a kind of exercises or computer simulation that allow specialists to practice actions when an asteroid falls to Earth. So, one of the millions of asteroids called Apophis, named after the Egyptian god, a huge destroying serpent, in January 2013 approached the Earth to a distance of 14,460,000 kilometers. And what a surprise it was when it turned out that its volume and mass were 75% more than previously thought. Today, everyone knows that on April 13, 2029, the maximum approach of Apophis to the Earth will occur, its shine will be visible to the naked eye. The asteroid will pass at an altitude of approximately 31,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Notice, not millions of kilometers. And this is a critically small distance. 
In popular culture, there is a computer game in which the asteroid Apophis crashes into the Earth on April 13, 2029. As a result, 5 billion people die within the first day. Before the catastrophe, the best politicians, scientists and military leaders hide in specially built Creo arcs. These shelters will have to return to the surface of the Earth with the stored human cargo when the damage inflicted by Apophis has passed. Also, the scientific world is modeling the consequences of the fall of Apophis on our planet. The energy of collision with the Earth will be about 1000 to 1200 megatons in TNT equivalent. The height of destruction will be more than 49 kilometers. The diameter of the crater will be about 6 kilometers. And this asteroid is only about 325 meters in size. In the event of an asteroid fall, all settlements located at a distance of up to 300 kilometers, depending on the relief of the fall area, would be completely destroyed. It would not have been without a devastating tsunami when the fireball hit the seas and lakes. Therefore, today scientists say, if you have a little time before a closed thermonuclear or asteroid strike, immediately stand behind the opposite slope from the explosion at the most impressive height available nearby. After all, only a mountain can reflect the blast wave upwards and make it difficult to destroy those behind it. That is why the angels brought Lot out of Sodom and told him to flee to the mountains. Ultimately, Lot escaped in a certain Zor, that survived, because it was located on a hill. Therefore, for many, Jesus Christ, the rock of our salvation, remains the only hope. To date, mankind knows about 25,000 asteroids that periodically approach the Earth. Space observations continue constantly, and therefore about three dozen celestial bodies are added to the list every week. Asteroids larger than 100 meters in diameter, whose orbits are closer than 7 million kilometers from our planet, are considered potentially dangerous. There are about 5% of the total. Their existence cannot be ignored. Unfortunately, the results of computer simulations of asteroids hitting the Earth are not very encouraging. For example, two years ago a virtual asteroid fell on Denver. Scientists decided to send several spaceships to it, which, crashing into a cosmic body, were supposed to take it aside. In general terms, it happened, but the deviation was such a big that the asteroid, passing Denver, crashed into New York, completely destroying it. Of course, all this happened only on computer screens. In addition to America, NASA researchers also simulated an asteroid impact in Europe. And who do you think would have survived? When a virtual 140-meter fireball fell between the Czech Republic, Germany and Austria, according to legend, it was detected six months before the fall. And what results did scientists come to, and will they be able to warn humanity about a real threat from outer space? Here is their answer, all we can do is to prepare for the inevitable blow in half a year in order to somehow minimize the consequences. Also, the participants in the simulation found it impossible to send a kamikaze ship or a nuclear bomb into space, since this can only work if there are at least a few years left before the fall. More exotic ways, like painting an asteroid white so that solar radiation can push it off its dangerous path, require even longer time frames. All we can do, scientists say, is to prepare for the inevitable blow in half a year in order to somehow minimize the consequences. In a computer simulation, six days before the hypothetical impact, the characteristics of the asteroid were specified. Its size was 105 meters in diameter, the fall speed was 55,000 kilometers per hour. With such data, the damage area will be a circle with a diameter of 300 kilometers. Based on the results of the simulation, it became clear that in the event of a sudden fall of an asteroid, humanity will be able to organize the evacuation of the population from the disaster area, and nothing more. At the same time, only a strike was simulated in the exercises, there was no talk of any long-term consequences such as explosions of volcanoes, nuclear and power plants, a huge man-made disaster, a tsunami, a nuclear winter, and the like. Despite such a bleak outcome, scientists will continue to conduct simulations and even make real experiments. For example, at the end of 2022, NASA sent a real spacecraft to the real asteroid Dimorphos and tried to push it out of orbit. Dimorphos does not pose a danger to the Earth, but is located in such a good place that it is not very difficult to get to it and test the theory in practice. Of course, the main thing in this experiment is not to accidentally turn a safe asteroid into a dangerous one by sending it not into space, but towards our planet. 
but NASA probably calculated everything and will not allow such an outcome. Although this is a dangerous experiment that had no practice. So, in the official list of the largest and most potentially dangerous asteroids approaching the Earth in 2020, there are at least 105 objects. This is not all, in many too small or too distant asteroids were not included in it at all. If we single out those cosmic bodies that astronomers discovered after approaching the minimum distance to our planet, then observers did not even suspect about 60% of asteroids until they passed the point of closest approach to the Earth. Another 12% were detected just one day before the event, 24% were detected one week before, and just 4% were detected longer before that event. That is, we discovered the vast majority of cosmic bodies when they were already moving away from us, and the rest were found so late that even if we wanted to do something, there would not be enough time for this. By the way, we also do not have technologies that allow us to destroy or at least push an asteroid out of orbit and such technologies are not expected in the near future. Moreover, in 2020, astronomers discovered the asteroid 2020 VT4, which passed from the Earth at the minimum distance in the entire history of observations, only 370 kilometers, not thousands, but just kilometers. Let's move on to the facts. On Earth, the lowest point on land is the shore of the Dead Sea, located 432.65 m below sea level. This is the area of the well-known Sodom, Gomorrah and surrounding cities. Approximately 4,000 years ago, a cosmic cataclysm destroyed these cities and formed the largest depression on the planet. The catastrophe occurred as a result of the fall of a large celestial body. Therefore, there is a break in the Earth's crust, which extends for 5,000 kilometers. This greatest rift on land is called the Great African Rift. Tourists go there to see the vertical cliffs among the huge valleys. Scientists believe that the reason for the formation of such a huge crack of the planet and the deepest depression on land was the fall of an asteroid. The very word Sodom means burnt, and Gomorrah, a pile of ruins. Around 2000 years BC these cities were at the peak of their power, but were wiped off the face of the Earth when a giant space object fell. Hundreds of scientists and various specialists conducted researches on the territory of present-day Jordan, and after almost 15 years of painstaking efforts, they were able to recreate the picture of the Day of Judgment over Sodom and Gomorrah. Scientists could not believe that asteroids of moderate strength, when hit in the lower atmosphere, tend to explode before reaching the ground. But when there were atmospheric explosions over Tunguska in 1908 and over Chelyabinsk in 2013, the first gave several dead, and the second more than a thousand injured, then the scientific world believed that many asteroids were exploding in the atmosphere. Now it has become clear to scientists what a terrible cosmic phenomenon is described in the biblical story of Sodom and Gomorrah. On that day, a huge asteroid entered the atmosphere of our planet at a speed of about 61,000 km per hour, exploding, it formed a huge fireball at an altitude of about 4 km above the ground. Such an explosion is estimated at 12 to 23 megatons of TNT or a thousand Hiroshimas. Fire from heaven, is how the Bible describes this event. The air temperature rose to 2,000 degrees Celsius. Almost immediately, the cities caught fire. The inhabitants who raised their eyes to the sky were instantly blinded and died from burns. Clothes and wooden structures flared up. Swords, spears, bricks and pottery began to melt. And in a few seconds, a powerful shock wave and a rain of sulfur and fire fell upon this place. Moving at a speed of about 1,200 km per hour, it surpassed any terrestrial tornado. Streams of sulfur and fire swept through the city, demolishing buildings and palaces, burning the inhabitants and throwing debris and bones into the valley. No one survived, their bodies were torn apart, and the bones were crushed into small fragments. The temperature in the city rose higher than during volcanic eruptions. The only natural process in which this is possible is an impact from space. Only a 1.5-meter layer of molten materials remained with traces of a celestial body for researchers. The same signs of melting are found in all known places where meteorites and asteroids have fallen. Jesus said, as it was in the days of Lot, so it will be before his second coming. And many say and think that it is only about the unnatural sex of the Sodomites and their atrocities. But Jesus also spoke about how in the days of Noah and in the days of Lot there were such powerful cataclysms from heaven, and only God could hear the prayer of the righteous and save his children, so it will be now.
Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ said that just before his second coming, there would be fearful events and great signs from heaven. And what does this mean for us? It means that many signs of his second coming have already been fulfilled. These are wars, earthquakes, famines, epidemics, the revival of Israel. The only things that remained unfulfilled are fearful events and great signs from heaven, after which our Lord will appear. In the Bible, Christ gives us the chronicle of the apocalypse. Everything will begin after the mass persecution and murder of Christians. And this is already happening today in 145 countries of the world, and is a sign of the opening of the fifth seal of the apocalypse. And as a result, the next, sixth seal will be opened. This is the coming natural mega-collapse caused by cosmic phenomena, which the entire public is talking about today. For the sake of this they explore space in order to carry their bodies from this planet. Understanding the coming catastrophism, people create underground, underwater, space shelters and doomsday storages to take themselves out into Earth orbit and wait out the asteroid strikes coming to our planet in space. After all, fearful events and great signs from heaven will soon begin. Therefore, it is said in the Bible that people will faint from terror and hide in rocks and mountains. At the sixth seal, the earthquake will not be local, but planetary. When all the lithospheric plates, islands and mountains will move. Volcanoes will explode, the sky and the atmosphere will be damaged. The sun will darken, the moon will turn blood red. The stars will fall to earth, the Bible says. We are talking about asteroid impacts. The word asteroid means similar to a star and is derived from the Greek aster, star, and Edo's, shape. Soon God will shake not only the earth but also the heavens. The coming great signs from heaven are the beginning of God's wrath and the finish line before the second coming of Christ. Having begun, the great cosmic signs will not end but will only gain momentum. The seven trumpets of the apocalypse will follow the seals. Notice when the first angel sounds his trumpet, hail and fire mixed with blood will fall from heaven and a third of the trees will be burned up. We see the sky bombardment continue. The second angel sounds his trumpet, and a huge mountain, all ablaze, will be thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea will turn into blood. Huge fiery objects, falling, will cause man-made disasters. The third angel sounds his trumpet and a big star, Wormwood, will fall from the sky. As a result of the fall of this asteroid, a third of the rivers and waters will become bitter. The fourth angel sounds his trumpet and the third part of the sun, moon and stars will be struck. This is a terrible sign, similar to nuclear winter. See next. When the fifth angel sounds his trumpet, then another star or asteroid will fall from the sky to the Earth and make a split in the planet. This space object will form a crack in the Earth's crust and will open the abyss with monsters. The disgusting creatures from the modern horror movies will come out and will torment people for five months. Then the sixth angel sounds his trumpet, and four angels will be released, prepared for the liquidation of the third part of the planet's population. Then the Antichrist will appear on the world stage. And attention! In the days when the seventh angel is about to sound his trumpet, the mystery of God will be accomplished, just as he announced to his servants the prophets. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven, with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. When the seventh angel sounds his trumpet, then the kingdom of the world will become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he will reign forever and ever. This chronicle of the apocalypse confirms that before the second coming of Christ there will be fearful events and great signs from heaven. One thing is clear, that in our last time, the signs and catastrophes from heaven will be so terrible that only God will be able to deliver his people. And he will hear the prayers of the people of God, as he heard the prayers of Abraham. In this way, our time is similar to the past great judgment days of the planet. And just as God saved his people from incredible catastrophes through the prayer of the righteous, so now Jesus told us, be always on the watch, and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen. Subscribe and join the Watch and Prayer program. Watch and share videos from our channels to understand the times, terms, and meaning of life for the salvation of the soul. May God keep you safe.